Hello, hello. How are you guys? Good evening. How's everything? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Catherine? Well, in my case, my day was so so because um I was working and in my case it's really boring to work, but it's necessary because if, if I don't work, I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. It's important, you know, little big detail, right? Yeah, so we have to work so to get money, right? <laughs> All right, good, good. All right. Um, well, thank you guys. Thank you for being here once again. I know it's it's hard. I mean, it's it's hard to be here, you know, after a day of work and all that, you know. So yeah. So, anyways, you know, but thank you, thank you for being here, guys. Um, I'm going to ask you guys, please uh, turn your cameras on. I will really appreciate if you guys uh, turn your cameras on, right? I will appreciate that, guys. And just remember, you need to keep your cameras on, you know, just to, I would just to, um, to make sure, so I can make sure you guys are there, you know, and all that, right? So that's that's the reason why. Now, um, let me see. Okay, guys. So let's do a little recap. What do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember? Mm -hmm. What do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you say? What do you think? Mm -hmm. You can check your uh, com uh your notes if if you guys take notes. Mm -hmm. So what do you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué recordamos de ayer? What do you remember about yesterday? Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday we was starting about the statement, for example, mm -hmm. and when we um speak about someone, but in affirmative, in negative, in question. Okay. Yeah. We have. Uh, those were uh, statements with the verb to be, right? Affirmative and negative. Mm -hmm. And we were also uh, talking about questions, right? Uh, what type of questions? ¿Cuál era el tipo de preguntas? What type of question? Uh -huh. No se recuerdan. ¿Cómo, le, ¿Cómo se llamaba? What was the name? WH question. Mm -hmm. Okay, WH questions. But we also have the just no questions. That is what we were talking about. Just no questions, right? Um, that, those are the ones that we were talking about yesterday. Just no questions with the verb uh, to be, right? That's what we were talking about. So if you guys remember that, okay? So that's that's actually what it was. Um, so besides that, uh, we are going to continue today with, still with the section three, and I'm going to uh, share my screen right here. Just give me a second, okay? So we are going to continue with the section three, and that's pretty much what we were uh, talking about yesterday, right? this right here so let me just click it and remember guys you have to work on this as you can i mean like uh, try to uh i would say try to work on that and also uh, the platform you guys have to have it like like ready you know like uh like completed remember that you have up to um if i'm not mistaken that was um friday midnight so you can have everything completed, right? So please keep on working on that. Así que hay que seguir trabajando también en la plataforma, chicos, okay? Para que todo vayamos al día, okay? Remember that you need at least uh, at least the eight, uh, 80%, right? That's what you need at least, right? Teacher, disculpe. Tell me. Yo solo, tal vez nos puede contestar el test en el que nos quedamos el día de ayer. Uh -huh. Si tengo dos preguntas que no sure. en ese exacto, sure, tengo sure. dos, la penúltima y donde dice Selena, Selena y Carlos al front México, son dos que, que no me quedan claros, ya intenté con todo y, y nada, tal vez nos pueda ayudar con, con ese. Yeah, no problem, no problem, we will, we will check it right now, okay? 
So those are uh, actually the three conversations. We were able to work on number one yesterday. So now we will just work on number two right here. And uh, right here is going to be like saying, is Laura it from is. the US? She right? is, that's correct. Uh -huh. And then we'll say, no, she's not. What about here? Is. Is right? she from C? Yes, she is. Right? And yes, then, she is. Uh -huh. And then right here, uh, but her parents are from Italy. And then it says, no, they're not. Um, just say they're not from uh they're not from they're the UK from... original, mm -hmm. and it says is Laura's is. Uh, first language Italian. No, it's not. Why? Porque no, it's not. Porque estamos hablando de lenguaje, right? The eat. Sí. And say English. It's English, right? So here we say, uh, it's English. It's English. Uh -huh. Okay, what about number Esa three? Okay. Esa es la que, la que no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Selena y Carlos from Mexico. Ya probé con they are, are they. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. No okay. sé. Ahí fue. No problem. I can help you with that. Yo lo puedo ayudar con eso ahorita. Bye. Eh, lo que siempre les mencionaba, hay que fijarnos en el sujeto. Aquí, ¿de quiénes estamos hablando? De Selena y... Carlos. Entonces, acá ya los tenemos a ellos como sujetos. Ellos, aquí están ellos dos en lugar del pronombre they. Es como que, y nosotros sabemos, ¿qué forma del verbo tú iba con they? De, de ya. Are. Are. Ajá, are. entonces, aquí nosotros ponemos are. Ahora bien, aquí en lugar de they, de Selina y Carlos, bien pudiéramos poner they. Si nosotros ya, ya los hubiésemos mencionado, si ya tenemos un antecedente. Porque si yo de una, de una vez le pregunto, ellos son de, 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 de México, pero si no estamos hablando de nada, yo de una le entro con eso, es como, ¿de quién está hablando? ¿Quiénes? Entonces, por eso a veces ustedes van a ver que van a poner los nombres o ya puede ser el, el, el sujeto. Entonces, aquí sería Are, Selena, and Carlos from Mexico. And then the answer is no. What? It's not. Mm, listen, listen to the question. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No. ¿De quiénes estamos hablando otra vez? They are not. Exactly. No, they are okay. no, no, they are not. Good job. Yes. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. No. Ajá, y en el test, da, 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 Brasil, from Brasil. Uh -huh. Is. Uh -huh. Is. Uh, I am, sería, I am from Brasil. Todavía seguimos hablando de ellos dos. De ellos dos, ah. Eh, ¿Ah? Entonces sería... Eh, mm, hair from... Pero aquí lo tengo. Me too. We're still they, are. They, they. they are. They, they are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or we can have it contracted. Like say, they're from Brazil. Mm -hmm. And that's a da -da 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 from Brazil too. Okay. Fácil. ¿Qué forma el verbo tu vive con you? Are. Okay. Are. Como ya sabemos, are you, una vez lo escribimos. Sí. Are you from Brazil too? No. Or no what? No? I'm. Um, um, no? Um, I'm not. I'm from? No, I'm not. Peru. Mm -hmm. Because it's saying I'm right here. So, da -da -da -da, your oh. first language is Spanish. This is our subject. Este es nuestro sujeto. First language. Que sería un it. Que sería como eat. Mm -hmm. So, is. Is one, exactly. Mm -hmm. Is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And that's the way it goes. All right. Now, if you can see right here, it should be all okay. It should be all okay right here. 
So that's what it is. I know it's confusing a little bit sometimes, but just as I said, just pay attention to the subject. The subject will guide you. Y entonces siempre hay que prestarle atención al sujeto. El sujeto siempre nos va a guiar, nos, nos va... Y solo hay que analizar, estoy hablando de uno, estoy hablando de dos, estamos hablando de mí, de otra persona, right? And that's it. Practice. That's all you need. Just need, just you need to practice and you will make it. So you don't need to like, like really worried about that right now. I mean, yeah, I mean, practice and all that. But all you have to do is practice. Don't, um, don't feel stressed or anything like that, guys. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just practice. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. No, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. Um. So. Uh, let's let's do something. Let's take advantage of the time right now. And so let me um, take the attendance, okay? Let me take the attendance right now. So I have right here Aron Omar. Let's see, let's see. I'm here. I'm yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Then we go with uh, Ada Lisette. Presente. Thank you. Then we go with um, Ana Beatriz. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then we go with uh, Okay. Then we go with um, Ana Esmeralda. Present. Mm -hmm. Ana Noemi. Presente. Mm -hmm. Carlos Vladimir. Uh, present. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario. Uh, Elida Maritza. Flor de María. Present. Jasmine Magdalena. Okay, um, Joana Guadalupe. Present. Jonathan Alexander. I'm here. Thank you. Jose Ismael. I'm here. Jose Present. Salvador. I'm here. Catherine Tatiana. I'm here. Kenny Guadalupe. I'm here. Marilyn Yvonne. Presente. Thank you. Marlene Concepcion. Present. Right. Then we go with Marvin Omar. Uh, Nidia Jamilex. Present. Okay. Then we go with uh, Nixia Ivin. Present. Okay, Omar Luzardo. I'm here. Rebecca Beatriz. Present. Reina Lisette. Present. Uh, Ricardo Alfonso. Rosario Cristabel. Present. Wilber Enrique. I'm here. Yesenia Abigail. Selena Elizabeth. I'm here. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, thank you for helping me with the attendance. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Um, all right, pretty good. Okay, so this is what we were doing yesterday, right? As I said, guys, you just need to pay attention, basically, Um, you know, to... Uh, I will say the the subject. Pay attention to the subject. And if they, por el subject que nos pregunten, por ese que responder, right? So let's just pay attention to that. It's it's just a matter of practice. We just need to practice on all that. Okay. So today we're going to continue right here. And so um, the next objective that we have for this session is that by the end of this class, you will become familiar with syllable stress. 
Now, the syllable stress is el acento, right? No es que la sílaba esté estresada, no. Es el acento, ¿ok? Like, como la fuerza de voz, ¿ok? Así que no, no crean que está estresada la letra. <laughs> All right, so that's what it is, ¿ok? So, that's what we're going to be talking about. Basically, it's just, it's going to help us to pronounce the, the things in the, I would say, in the best way that we can. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. Now, uh, this is what we have right here. I'm going to play the video, guys, and I will need you to uh, listen to the video and watch it at the same time, okay? Um, okay, right here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn... Can you listen to that? Can you watch it as well? Yes. Yes? Good. Yes. Thank you. Let's go. Yes. ...rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words. But a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers. And in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, have, you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's basically what I was telling you, uh, guys. It's about 14. the stress, right? Now, if you can see, the stress, as I said, it's basically um, what we would say in Spanish, como la mayor fuerza de voz. Donde va la, la mayor fuerza de voz, right? Like, it's not really the accent, but it's kind of. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um, it's it's basically what it is, right? And as he was saying right here, we have 13, you know, and then we got 30, we got 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. How are you going to learn that? Well, actually, you have to learn it. Uh, there are not really like rules about that. Well, sometimes there are, but there are a lot of exceptions. And so uh, what you guys need to do is that you just need to learn how to pronounce that. And that is what I'm going to show you right now. So give me a second. Right. Okay. Give me just a minute. Just a minute here. It's just loading. You know, as I said, the platform sometimes takes a little bit on loading, but it's okay. It will do it eventually. All right. So this is the material that we have, and I just want to share this with you all. All right, let's see. Just a minute. It's trying to load. That's what it is, all right. Yep, okay. Okay, right here, okay. So um, that's basically what I wanted to say right now. And it is that you need to uh, remember, and for, for example, 
talking about the numbers, y hablando de los números acá, si ustedes son observativos, van a ver que del 13 al 19, algunos, la mayoría, bueno, todos, terminan en 10, right? Es como 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and that is the pronunciation that it will sound, ¿ok? No sé si se habían percatado antes. Otra cosa. En algunos, por ejemplo, 14, uh, 16, 17, 18, and 19, es lo mismo que es básicamente unir dos cositas. Ahora, porque a veces, les digo esto porque a veces nos cuesta la, la escritura. When we're learning, it's hard for us to write it. Y nos decimos, ¿cómo se escribe? No sé, va. Entonces, vean, si ustedes se fijan acá. Bueno, ¿cómo se dice cuatro en inglés? How do you say four in English? I mean, cuatro en inglés. <laughs> It's four, right? So, four. Entonces, ¿cómo lo escribimos? Miren. I'm going to show you. <coughs> four. Ok. We got four. Y si queremos decir 14, four. Y después le agregamos teen. Fácil, miren. Four, teen. Right? Then, if we want to say... Uh, 15, por ejemplo, el 15 sí cambia, ¿ok? Ese sí, ese sí cambia un poquito. Pero vamos a vernos con 16. ¿Cómo se dice? Se dice en inglés. ¿Cómo se dice? 6, ¿right? 6. Y then six. we just add 10. 6, 10. Then we go with 7, 10. 8. 10, 9, 10, right? So that's the way it goes. If you remember this, it's going to be easy for you to write it, okay? Uh, now, there are some numbers that changes. For example, 11, 12, 13, and 15 are a little different because fifth starts with fifth, you know, like 15 starts with fifth. It's not really 15, right? Mm -mm. It's 15. El 15, 13, 14, uh, 12, and 11, they change a little bit. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Okay? But uh, talking about the stress, guys, uh, at least with the numbers right there, you actually have to remember when the numbers, cuando lleven el teen, uh, por lo menos del um, 11 al uh, 19, uh, donde sea teen, va a ser la mayor fuerza de voz. Like 14, right? 15, 16, 17, okay? Now, do I have any volunteer that wants to try or that likes to try, sorry, to read these uh, numbers? Any volunteer? You can raise your virtual hand. Okay, I got Ana Beatriz and I got Nixia. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Start reading the numbers, please. Uh, desde el 11. Um, just, just right here. Just, just this ones. Uh, where, where we have the stress. Donde tenemos el stress. Okay. 13, 30, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 60. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Let's go with uh, Aaron. Please help us. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's go with Nixia. Help us, please. This the number? Right here, this part, and it says where we're, so, where we're seeing the stress. <laughs> 13 31 32 No, sorry. No. Um en la parte B, part B. Listen and practice. Notice the word stress. Mm -hmm. Acá. No sé si ustedes también tienen el material. I don't know if you have the material. Uh, es que no sé si alcanza a ver por la pantalla, pero sí es la parte B. Part B. 
Sorry. Sorry. Okay. 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 Um. All right. Let me see. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. I'm gonna try to make it big and see if that helps. No, it's not letting me. Let's see. Okay. What about now? What about now, Nixia? Can you see it? Yes. This part. Yes. Okay. Go, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thirty, thirty, forty, forty, fifteen, fifty, sixteen, sixty. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you guys. And uh, Rebecca Beatrice, did you try already, or you want to try? Is that what you were trying to do? No. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Please go ahead. Thirteen. Thirteen. 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16. Okay, pretty good. Thank you. All right, guys. Now, uh, just remember, this it will be like third, and then it's like teen, right? 13, 30, right? 14, 40, 15, 50. 16, 60, right? 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. Entonces, todos los que llevan la T-E-E-N, los que llevan la T-E-E-N, va van a terminar en teen, teen, teen. Y los otros va a ser como T, no más. For, uh, 30. Bueno, it's like more like a, like an R sometimes. Instead of the T, it sounds like R. Like 30, 40, 50. Right here, yes. It says 50. T, T. And then we got 60. Mm -hmm. So it's like an I. It's not like, um, it's not like E, right? So that's the pronunciation. And this is acuérdense. Um, las que, terminan, las que terminan así en ten va a ser teen. Ahora, 30, 40, esa T no va a sonar como T, sino como R. Like 30, 40. En lugar de decir 30, mm -mm, 40, uh -uh. we will say 30, 40. Okay? Ahora, en el 50, as well, we will say ahí sí va a sonar como T. Y 60, también. Like 50 and 60. Teacher, ¿cómo voy a aprender eso? Hay que aprenderlo. <ríe> Vamos a tener que practicarlo un poquito, ¿ok? Sí hay cositas que sí, este, no hay como reglas así y estructuras que seguir. Pero, o sea, si usted de repente usted dice 60, o si alguien, perdón, si usted dice 40, probablemente sí le puedan entender o van a saber. Pero ellos le van a decir 40. Entonces... Uh, ahí sí, hay que aprenderlo. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's what it is. Um, so, it's like, then, y vean, lo, lo bueno de los números que es, es, es como ir armando también, es bien repetitivo. Por ejemplo, si ya no sabe, si luego no sabemos los números de 10 en 10 hasta el 100, ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos, ya sabemos cómo se dice 1, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se dice 1 en inglés? 1. Entonces, 1, el 20 y el 1, y ya dice 21, right? 21, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. Y así, usted va uniendo. Como uniendo el 20 con el 1, el 20 con el 2, el 20 con el 3. Oh, of course, in English, right? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29. Eso sí, no me van a decir 20, 10. No. <laughs> ok, después del 29 sigue 30, right? So, we say steady. What? Contemos steady. Mm -hmm. 31, 32, 
Good job. Sí, muy bien. No me dijeron Terry Ten. Muy bien. Ajá, Terry. There is 40, right? 40. 41, 42. 42. Yes. 42. Mm -hmm. And so on. And you keep going. You keep going and you will be good. Y así se van y no hay ningún problema. Ustedes ya van a saber. Okay. Solo ahora bien, cuando lleguemos al 100, pues va a ser 100. El 100 es como decir 100. Y si digo 100, Hundred, estoy diciendo un ciento, que nosotros no decimos un ciento, nosotros decimos cien, ¿verdad? Pero es un ciento, ¿right? Y si quiero decir doscientos, ya sabemos cómo decir dos. Two hundred. Two hundred. Y si quiero decir... Two hundred. Si quiero decir cinco, cientos o quinientos, ¿cómo sería? Five hundred. Five hundred, ¿verdad? Y si quiero decir... Um, Mil. Wait, ya vamos a llegar a mil. <ríe> ya vamos a llegar a mil. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. 800, ¿cómo sería? 800. 800. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso les digo, miren, ustedes se saben los números del 1 al 20 por lo menos, y es como que ya después se los aprenden de 10 en 10 y ya saben contar hasta mil. ¿Por qué? Y antes de pasar al ejemplo de mil. 100 es 100. Y si quiero decir 101... Aquí está, mire. 100. 1 or 100 and 1. Ok. It's up to you. Ahora, si quiero decir 110, ¿cómo podría decir? 100 and 2. 100. Yes. Entonces, por eso les digo, prácticamente llegamos al 100 y volvemos a comenzar. Todos estos números que estamos aquí, miren. Entonces, si ustedes se los aprenden estos acá, ya van a llegar. Y después llegan a 999. ¿Cómo sería 999? ¿Cómo sería? 999. Está avanzado. 999. 999. Ok. ¿Cómo decimos? Vamos a 999. Ok. ¿Cómo decimos? Eh, 900 primero decimos 900 ok nine bueno, nine. Me digo, y ahora como digo 99 tengo aquí que 90 nine dice nine. 90 entonces uno el 90 con el 9 y es 90 99 entonces sería 900 900 99 99 ok y después sigue 1000 Después, one, one thousand, ok. One thousand es ciento. Mil, one thousand. Mil, perdón, mil, ciento. One, eh, thousand. one thousand. Y si quiero decir dos thousand. mil, ¿qué será? Two, two thousand. Two thousand. Y después si voy por tres mil. Thousand. Three thousand. Ya ven. O sea, es, es como si me viendo, aprendiera los verbos ya supiera inglés. <risa> pues así se pueden aprender también <risa> ok so let's just practice this ok you guys need to practice that and you will be good ok so questions about this so, aprovechando um, me expliqué eso también pero ajá uh -huh. I don't know if you have a question about this no profe este es lo más fácil porque lo demás no lo entiendo Ay, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, at least we know the numbers, okay? Por lo menos ya los números ya los tenemos. <laughs> okay. Little by little, you know? All right. That's what it is. So, uh, with that being said, uh, we'll just go right now through the other uh, part of this and... What it is, is this. Now, we have another adjective, and it says, okay, solo recuérdense, cuando la terminen en teen, va a ser teen la pronunciación, okay? Seven, teen. No vamos a hacer una pausa, yo la hago para que se den cuenta, pero es 17, 16, okay? Right? Uh, that's what it is. 18, 19, right? So that's what it is. Okay, then the other one is uh, the other adjective that we have for today is that in this class you will become familiar 
with the numbers 11 to 103 and we'll talk about the age and age relatives and friends you know which is pretty much what i was just doing to you what i was just explaining to you like i was a little advanced on that but i still i want to play the video so you guys um listen and watch okay hi everyone in this class you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 and talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. Now, let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website, bookaroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Okay, and so that's what I was just explaining to you, right? Uh, what we do, it's basically, you know, that we are just joining the numbers, you know, like going uh, one by one and, you know, then we just make it and boom. That's basically what it will be. Now, uh. Give me a second right here. Okay, now we have uh, a conversation right here. So we are going to practice our reading ability. So if you want to practice your reading ability, you can just raise your virtual hand and we will just practice reading this conversation, okay? So raise your virtual hand if you want to be a volunteer on reading this part, on reading the conversation, okay? Okay, cool. All right, so I got uh, Joanna Guadalupe and Aaron. So Joanna, you're going to be Emma and Aaron, you're going to be Jill. Let's go. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? Yes, we call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What? He like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And, and he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, guys. Any more volunteers, guys? Okay, I got Omar. Omar Lozardo, you're going to be Emma. And anyone else, guys? Volunteers? Okay, Carlos, you're going to be Jill. Yeah, Jill. Yeah. 
You start, Omar. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, who's that? He's my brother. Whoa, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who was that? My sister, Tammy, she's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. okay. Uh, more volunteers? Any Anyone else that likes to practice that? Okay, I got Consuelo del Rosario. So you're going to be Emma. Uh -huh. And Rebecca, you are going to be uh, Jill. Rebecca Beatriz. Let's go. Yes. Who is that? He's my brother. Wow, he's good with with his name. James, we call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? he? He's twenty one years old. What what he like? <clears throat> I be his name. Yes, he is, and, and he's very smart too. And who that? My sister Tammy. She's only twelve. She is the baby of the family. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, I think I have time for one more couple. Any more? Any more volunteers? No. Okay, I got Ana Beatriz. Uh huh. One more person, any other volunteer? Jose Salvador, thank you. Kenny and Ana. Okay, good. Okay, keep your hands up. Mantenga sus manitas arriba. All right, so Ana, eh, you're going to be Emma, and uh, Jose, you're going to be Jill. Let's go. Okay. Ana, Ana Beatriz, sorry. Who is that? He's my brother. Well, he's cute. What is his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What he like? I be he's nice. Yes, he is, and he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. All right, thank you so much. Now let's go with uh, Kenny and Ana Flores. So Kenny, you're going to be Emma and Ana Flores, you're going to be Jill. Oh, what? Hello. Hola. 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 Okay. Se nos fue quizás. Hey, no sé. He's my brother. Oh, okay. Oh, he's cute. What is name? James. We call him James. How old is he? He is 21 years years old. What he like and bet he's nice. Yes, he and he's very smart too. And uh, what that? My sister Tammy, she is only 12. She's the baby of the family. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Now, just a couple of things right here regarding pronunciations, and this is in general, okay? But we'll say who's, who's. Who's, mm -mm, we will say, who's, who's that? Now, tiene un signo de pregunta. Entonces, las preguntas se van a terminar con la entonación de pregunta, right? So, who's that? Mm -hmm. 
Que suene como pregunta, right? Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. Miren, tienen un signo de interrogación acá. Entonces hay que ponerle emoción. <ríe> ok. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh. How old is he? He's 20. You can say 20 or you can say 20. Both are okay. He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet. bet mm -mm, I bet. I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. I'm sorry. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. Family? Mm -mm, family. It'll be family. Okay, so keep in mind the pronunciation. Who's, right? Who's. I got wow. We got cute. Call. Right? Then we got bet. I bet. Nice. All right, and family, family, All right, family. That's what it is. Okay, guys, so any new word right here for you? Alguna nueva palabra por ustedes acá? Or do you know everything? Do you know all of them? No? <laughs> Solo una, una, una consulta, teacher, uh -huh. este... Donde dice la última parte, she's the baby. Podría ser solo, she's baby of the family. Good question. Mm, no, no podría ser solo así. Necesitamos el artículo de, uh, the article de, para definir que estamos hablando de él o la bebé de la familia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, en ese caso sí lo necesitamos. That's a definite ok, part. perfecto. Mm -hmm. That's... Ok, Thank you're you. welcome, you're welcome. Okay, no questions? No? Okay, now, when we say, what's he like? We're asking for a description, okay? For example, what's he like? It can be what he or she like, okay? She like. Okay, oh my bad, there's a typos here. My bad, I'm, I'm just not good today. What's going on with me, guys? All right, there it goes. What's he or she like? And then we can say, he is. Cuando hacemos esta pregunta, what's he like? Or what's she like? Estamos haciendo una pregunta o estamos pidiendo por una descripción de la persona que estamos preguntando. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo es él? Como es ella, right? What's she like? Entonces ahí decimos, she is, y ya la describimos a la persona, right? Uh, we can say tall and funny. Y eso lo vamos a ver más adelantito, pero ya solo para que vayan um, sabiendo que, de qué se trata esta pregunta, ¿ok? Entonces ahí nos están preguntando por una description, ¿ok? And, for example, there is another question as well. Um, the other question is about how, how old, we know this question, how old are you? Okay, if I say, uh, for example, eh, Jose Salvador, how old are you? How old are you? Mm -hmm. uh, um, I am 21 years old. I'm 21 years old. Good job. Uh huh. 21 years old. Okay, perfect. Okay, look at this. Ojo, siempre acordémonos, tenemos que usar el verbo to be. Nunca vamos a decir have. I have 20 years old. No, mm -mm. we can't say that. That is Spanish. Eso lo decimos en español. But in English, we have to use the verb to be. I'm 21 years old. 
Okay. But I can also ask, for example, Rebecca Beatriz, how old is Jose Salvador? Okay. How old is Jose Salvador? My bad, my bad, my bad. How old is Jose Salvador, Rebecca? What can you uh, say? He's 21 years old. Good job, yes. He is 20, 21 years old. Uh, ¿Por qué he? Porque le estoy preguntando por José. Y José es él, he. Entonces, yo aquí, si ya estamos, si tenemos ratitos de estar hablando de José, yo ya no le digo a Rebeca todo el nombre, sino que le puedo decir, how old is he? Right? How old is he? Ah, ya Rebeca me responde, he is 21 years old. Boom, and that's it, you know? It's easy. Or I can say, um, Rebeca, how old are you? Beatriz. 21 years old. Everyone's 21 years old. Todos tienen 21 aquí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, dice <it's> por ahí. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> okay, the thing is that then you can ask the question and the way that you're going to reply is with this way, using the verb to be. Okay. So, por eso les digo, hay que prestar atención por quién nos están preguntando. Okay. Porque si imagínese yo le hubiera preguntado a Rebeca, hey Rebeca, how old is Salvador? Y Rebeca me hubiera dicho, I'm 21 years old. No, un momento, yo no estoy preguntando por usted, le estoy preguntando por él, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's, what we have to, that, that's why we have to pay attention to the subject, right? We, we need to pay attention to the subject so we know what's going on and how we're going to make it, right? That's what it is. Okay, questions about this? No questions? No? Todo está claro como el café. Ay, como el cafecito. Ay, vaya. Vaya, man. Por cierto, hoy no ha tomado café. Ah, no. <laughs> Yo sí tomé, lo siento. <laughs> I did drink coffee. <laughs> okay. So, uh, vaya. Ahora le toca a usted. Mar de paz. <laughs> okay, so, it's your turn. So, I'm going to ask you, uh, how old are you? I am 42 years old. 42 years. Uh -huh. Years. Years. Old. I am 40, 42 years old. Okay, good job. Now, can you ask that question? Ahora, ahora es su turno. Puede preguntarle a, a alguno de sus compañeros por la edad de ese compañero que le va a preguntar o por la edad de alguien más. Uh -huh. How old is... Flor, Flor de María. Uh -huh. How old are you? Uh -huh. I'm 60 years old. Ok, once again, repeat please. First years old. Um, 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 I am, mm -hmm. um, first, fifty years, first years old. Okay, uh, this one, right? Fifty, right? Yes, 50. okay, fifty. 50 years old. Okay. Now you, Flor de Maria, can you ask that question or any other question to one of your classmates, please? Repeat, please. Yes. Ask the question to one of your classmates. For example, to Joanna, mm. to Consuelo, to Ana, to Omar. Ask. Mm. Este... Rosario Cristabel, eh, how old are you? How old are you? Um, twenty-one. Okay, thank you, Cristabel. Now you go ahead and ask the question to somebody else, please. 
Um, uh, Omar. Okay. Omar. Right. Aquí estoy. I'm here. I'm here. Good. I'm here. Mm -hmm. What is your question? What's the question, Cristobal? Um, ¿Me podría ayudar, teacher? Sí, claro, con gusto. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how old, for example, this one, how old are you? Pero sepa que le está preguntando cuántos años tiene, ¿verdad? Entonces usted le pregunta, how old are you? Um, how old are you? I am 50, 55 years old. Okay, good job. 65 years old. Good. All right. Now you, Omar, can you please ask the question to somebody else? Um, Marvin Omar. Marvin Omar, how old are you? Marvin, Marvin, are you here with us? Hello, hello. No? Ask to somebody else, Omar, please. Somebody else. Okay. Ana Flores. How old are you? I'm 22. Get out. Okay. Okay. And so that's pretty much what we do, guys. Okay. So um, that's pretty much what we do, guys. So what you have to do is that you have to remember that we are going to use the verb to be, okay? Vamos a usar el verbo to be siempre, okay? And remember the pronunciation, right? Remember the pronunciation. It's like, um, it's what I was saying. And it's easy to join the numbers once you know the numbers one to, uh, I would say to uh, 10, for example. And then you are just joining. Y si se los aprenden de 10 en 10, ahí se lo van a ir uniendo. A, eh, 40 con el 1, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, y así. Llegan hasta el 9, pasan al 50. So 50, y comienzan otra vez. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Ok, and you keep going. Como ejercicio, les, les recomiendo que puedan eh, tratar de, de hacerlos ustedes. Ok, Ir, irse uno por uno. Ok, right, one by one. One by one. Y si quieren, también pueden escribirlos, right? You can also write them. That's what you can do. All right. Um, so any question, guys? Do you have any question about that? No? Any no. question? Any comment? No? Are you sure? Yes? Seguros? Okay. No. So if you don't have any question, guys, tomorrow we are going to start talking about the WH uh, questions with the verb to be, okay? So I suggest you that if you can, you can just watch the video right here and that's going to be something really cool that you can do. So then tomorrow we can work on the knowledge check and all that, all right? So it will be awesome. And, you know, day after tomorrow, probably we will have the adjective or we will just do it tomorrow as well. But if you can, guys, traten de ir avanzando en la plataforma, please, right? So, para que no se les acumule el trabajo de una vez. So, any question before I let you go? ¿Alguna uh, pregunta antes que los deje ir? No? Yes? Yo quisiera hacer un comentario. Ah, tell me. O algo que, eh, o sea, mi humilde opinión mm -hmm. es que siento que no todos tenemos el mismo nivel de conocimiento. O sea, no todos hemos entrado desde cero. Mm -hmm. 
Entonces siento que a menos en lo personal, pues sí, los números sí, porque hasta de cancioncita me lo sabía, ¿verdad? De más pequeña, ¿verdad? El one, two, three, four, five y toda la cosa, pero en lo demás sí, me, sí siento que me cuesta un poco y siento que quizás la mayoría tiene un nivel como más alto. Sí, que vea, vea no sé bien. si seré solo yo, pero, pero ahora sí que como que a veces me, 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 me toca y como que en chino estoy leyendo todo y me está costando no, vea, yo lo entiendo, de, hecho, de, de verdad sí le entiendo. Eh, fíjese que mm, el, el, al menos el libro, el, el nivel, sí comienza como desde cero, eh, en teoría, en teoría. Uh, entonces... Sí, yo le entiendo. Y por eso trato de hablarles, le, hablarles un poco de español también. Cuando no entienda algo, siéntase en confianza y pregúnteme. Yo, yo le explico, no hay ningún problema. Y, y sí, o sea, yo okay. esa parte también le entiendo. Pero verdad, chicos, tengan confianza. Y yo me quedo aquí como habrá hecho el profe para hablar así desde, desde hace cuántos años, porque <risa> tal vez aprendí un poco. <risa> ya, fíjese que yo sí aprendí en un año, pero, pero, pero yo estudiaba todos los días, estudiaba... O sea, tres horas, dos horas, así, entonces, uh -huh. pero, pero, o sea, se puede, lo que les quiero decir es que, este, o sea, pregunte, si usted no entiende algo, usted pregúnteme, si 20 veces me las pregunta, yo las 20 veces se lo voy a explicar, de verdad, en serio, no tengan pena. Bueno, muchas gracias. Sí, <ríe> ok, bueno, así que. Pichero, yo tengo una pregunta, Ajá. Uh -huh. este, mire, ve. Eh, y no nos va a dejar así como tarea para que hagamos en cuaderno como ejercicios. Sí, sí, sí. Um, pero ahorita, no ahora, pero sí. <ríe> no ahora, pero sí. <ríe> Not today, but bueno. yes. Uh -huh. Igual, bueno. por, eso le, por eso lo que casi siempre les dejo de tareas, trabajen en la plataforma, porque si ustedes trabajan y ya ven eso, entonces ahí como eso ya vamos adelantados, vean. Pero sí, en algún momento I will do it Bueno chicos, los dejo Tengo otra clasita por ahí Igual, siempre les digo Si tienen preguntas al final uh, Escríbanlas y mañana me las pueden hacer también ¿Ok? Al principio de la clase Como hizo ahora Omar creo Muy bien ahí, thank you mm -hmm. So, thank you guys So, uh, see you tomorrow Enjoy your day Bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.